after years of trying to pick up something that I got, I managed to get a Persona Q, the Shadow of the Labyrinth, the original one. Uh, you know, I bought this not from online. I bought, I didn't bought this from online nor Amazon. I bought it from uh, from an old video game store. I bought it from an old video game store that I got. This is the, it's actually, um, it's actually a store called D Pad Retro Gaming. They had a lot of video games over there and some action figures. If you're interested in going to that store, uh, if you're interested in going to that store, you guys might have known, you guys might have known where it is. If you, I'm not gonna put the information here, mostly, or maybe maybe if I want to or not. So I might do that. I might put the link in the description, but down below on the address to see if you're interested in going to that store. Uh, you know, I'm very. Very glad to pick this up. This did cost me like $120 for this for for this set. Uh, I used to remember during the during back in 2014, this used to cost like um, $89.99, I believe. Uh, just you know, when I checked on Amazon or eBay or other stuff, it costs like $200 right now for whatever reason. But I'm finally get get the I finally got this in person. Now I get to complete the. Uh, Complete, complete the edition. I got the Persona Q2 that I did unboxing. Uh, um, I think since last year. I might put the link in the description down below if you want to check that video out. So this is the, uh, so this is the first game that said the heroes of Persona 3 and 4 unite. So this is actually a bit of a spin-off to the, to, to, to these, to these game, to these sequels right here. So, so it's a bit of a unique idea. It's come with a Persona Q Shadow Labyrinth game, the 3DS XL game case, the Sound of Labyrinth uh, music CD, a 38-page art book, and a tarot card set number two with 11 cards. So I'm very glad to get this in 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 here in person. I'm I'm done talking right now, so let's start opening this up and see what I've got inside. I've been wanting this for quite a bit. Uh, you know, I don't I don't really love the spin-off game so much because I thought I was gonna pre I was gonna predict that it's bad, but if it's done right, then I'm totally happy with it. So you know, I'm glad I got this in person. I do like this uh, mesh packaging right here. You can feel this, really nice. I like the packaging in this, and just so you know, when I was at the D-pad Retro Gaming, they got a lot of cool stuff over there. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'll put the link in the description down. Like I said, I'm trying to, might to put the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. Uh, support the business because it's actually one of the coolest stores you can ever go to, though. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make sure the package is not, is not damaged. Okay, here it is. This should be good. And there's a little sticky tab right here. And here's uh, the the main characters uh, of Muck. Uh, Minato Arisato Minato and here's a uh, Narukami Yu uh, Just so you know the cool thing about this game you get to choose which character story do you prefer? Do you prefer Minato or um, Narukami Yu? Uh, you, it's your choice to choose on, on when you look at Persona Q2 There's a lot of changes with the combat. It does have some uh, classic um, classic JRPG from Persona 1 and 2 so so it is has some uh, Nostalgia, nostalgia to it. So here's the 3DS case right here. Uh, I might open this. I was planning to open it, but I, but I decided to open it now, mostly because I just want to show you what is on the outside. Here's what it looks like, and when you open it up, there's a cool little packaging with a uh, Komaru and Koromaru, and there's a Kuma or slash Teddy. I think, I wonder how it would work on my Pokemon. Here's this right here. So yeah, it will fit pretty well. It's just not perfect, but there's one. It only fit, fit the 3DS XL, so. So I'm kind of glad it would fit right here. It fit pretty snugly. It may look kind of small, but it, it works. That is my 2DS Pokemon. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm totally gonna I'm totally gonna I'm totally gonna put this in the in the box pretty soon. So I'm very happy with that. And here's the art book. The spider web looks pretty nice. Most of the art book right here is all the main character all the main characters from the from the series. So I can't show it off too much because this is a 
because this is an old stuff. This is old, but but gold. Uh, so here are the cards. Might open this up. This is what it looks like right here. Not a fan of the packaging, but it is what it is. Here's what the cards looks like. You know, these cards are based off on the original games, like, you know, when you do confidants and here. I can't take every picture like this, but it's cool. But it's really cool. Because uh, you might have seen these before during the third and fourth game where you get to... I like to keep things in order, but I, I think they pretty they look cool on display. But I used to remember they kind of shape like this. Like when you when when the characters are like a persona and when you try to do this or when you try to shoot your head. Shoot, just like remember three where in Persona 3 where you get to shoot 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 in the head like this. Uh, shoot in the head like this. You guys might know what I mean. And here's the goddamn soundtrack, which is kinda comes with four 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 OSTs, the original soundtrack. And here's what it looks like right here with the, with the tarantula. It looks pretty good. I, I like it, you know. And I do like the artwork right here for this and right here for the most part. And here's the physical copy of the game. Uh, there's a Japanese import. Uh, if you want to buy, if you want to get the original Japanese voices, uh, you can buy one at Amazon. It only costs... It may cost a lot, but it's worth picking up if, you, if you're a fan of the series. So here's the, uh, so here's what it looks like. Here's the original game. It's kind of similar, but and here's the game chip. Nothing special, just your standard little, uh, just your standard little uh, 3DS chip. So yeah, very happy to pick this up in person. I've been wanting this for 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 quite quite a while right now. Um, despite my dis, despite that I was late on this, but I'm very happy to get it. It's better late than never. Uh, like I said, I know I say that a lot, but yeah, I really like the way I've got uh, all the purchases I get. Uh, you get everything what is worth it here. I might buy more games at the same store I went to. So uh, be sure to check it out. I I might have to. Uh, my other package is about to come here pretty soon. If it's if it is coming, I don't know when, but I'll figure it out pretty soon whenever it shows up. So that's all I'm gonna have to show you guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, fair, share, subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. Comment below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video as much as possible. I might do more of this in the near future. And I might, and next week I'll be a little busy though, so I won't be making a lot of videos because I'll be do, I'll be studying a lot. So I'll, I'll see, so I might be. So one last thing before I go, uh, you know, I hope, uh, I hope maybe in the near future, I might get more stuff in, on the way to do more unboxings. I can do a little haul videos if you, if you guys miss that. So I hope you guys, hope I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll, till next time, uh, peace the fuck out.